Welcome to Thoughts of the Day, Daily Devotions with Youth with a Mission. Hi guys, welcome to our devotion again. Hey, I was clearing out a room that needs to be painted and um, there are lots of books in that room and I found this little book that uh, I want to share a little bit out with you. Um, It's called A Meal with Jesus, written by Tim Chester, and it's all about having meals with one another to show hospitality. It's about companion and food. Did you know that the word companion comes from two Latin words, cum, which means together, and panis, which means bread. Companion means coming together over bread, coming together over a meal. Another question. Did you know that having a meal together is very important to to the Father and to Jesus? There are loads of Bible verses talking about meals together or parables that use food to show the meaning of life or love. Jesus, Jesus even calls himself the bread of life in John 6 verse 35 and 51. Just check it out. Two stories that really show me God's heart in hospitality and his love for companion are in Exodus 24 verse 9 to 11 where Moses, some others and 70 elders go up the mountain and meet God. And God is standing in some sort of glass area. And he's not destroying them, but they eat and drink together. All these people eat and drink with the creator of the world on top of the mountain. Isn't that insane? God had a meal with these people. He shared life with these people. The second verse I really like in this is in Revelation 3, verse 20, where it says, I, Jesus, will knock on your door, and behold, when you open it, I will come in, and we will have a meal together. What? Yeah, no condemnation, no lectures, no nothing like that. But there is a meal together. Jesus wants to eat with you. He wants companion. That's the first thing he wants. Eating together, coming together over a meal sharing stories, sharing life, being intimate, showing your heart. That's what he's coming for. Now, most of you know how hospitality is a lifestyle for Arno and I, and it's hard in this time to not invite people and serve them with some sort of food. But perhaps there are creative ways also for you in this lockdown to have a meal together, together with God or together with others. Ask God, ask him what you can do in this time to still have that companion with others and with him, to bless God, to bless people around you with your stories, your life, your heart. When he knocks on your door, invite him in and have a meal with him, have intimacy with him, share your life with him, share your life with others around you, come together in a creative way and have that meal in a creative way and see how you can bless others and how they can bless you just by coming together over bread. Blessings.